we're being asked to solve the system of equations using elimination. So the way elimination works is you pick one of the equations and you multiply by a number and add it to the other equation and eliminate a variable. It's also called the addition method. So in this case, the question is, what can we multiply this equation by so that when we add it to this equation, the 10x goes away. Well, if we multiply 5x by negative 2, when we add it to 10x, it will go away because negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. So we're going to multiply first equation by negative 2. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So let's do it carefully. So negative 2 times 5x is times 5x is negative 10x. Yep and negative 2 times 7y is minus 14y and negative 2 times 6 is negative 12 then you just write this one down again so 10x minus 3y equals 46 now we'll add so add so negative 10x plus 10x is 0 that was the whole point negative 14y and negative 3y when we add those we get negative 17y and here negative 12 plus 46 oh look this is 34 that's great because now when we divide by negative 17 oh, this worked out nice we get y equals negative 2 okay now we can use any equation we want to solve for y it looks like they're both equally difficult so let's maybe take the first equation, this one here, and plug in y equals negative 2. So 5x plus 7y equals 6. And in the next step, we're going to replace y with negative 2. So 5x plus 7 times negative 2 is 6. So 5x minus 14 is 6. Add the 14 running out of room <laughs> so 5x is 20 divide by 5 and you get x equals 4 so the final answer should always be written as an ordered pair so the answer will be in the form x comma y so x will come first so 4 and then y which was negative 2 that's it I hope this has helped someone out there